30-year-old Ivalice Alvarado, her family seeking justice following her brutal murder in New York. Police now searching for 30-year-old Gabino Janeo, her husband, the alleged killer. There's a possibility he could be somewhere around Georgia, Maryland, Miami. You know, he's on the run, so. Because the last one he moved, he was looking for a ride to Georgia. He was looking for a ride to Georgia? Yeah, that's, mm. what, that's what we heard. From the, so supposedly he called his friend and then asked them for a ride to Georgia. The shooting happened Friday night in Brooklyn, New York. Neighbors telling the family Janeo acted strangely, pacing back and forth. The family says the shots were fired as relatives of the victim sat in her car. He hopped in, forced his way in, and then Evie told him to step out of the vehicle. When they stepped out, they probably walked about five feet from the residence. He put two shots in her head. Um, and then um, notified the family member what he did and then put another round to her head, and then he took off running. Alvarado had lived in Baltimore for 10 years, coming to Maryland to help so her sister Giselle and brother-in-law, retired baseball player and Orioles Hall of Famer it's Melvin Mora, you know. with their growing family. In February of this year, Alvarado married Janeo. Her family says she knew him from middle school. The family recently began learning about abusive behavior toward her. My mom, my mom has been the last couple of days. Yes, they didn't know. She didn't know they, that he was physically violent with her. Ivelisse Alvarado had just moved from Maryland to New York in April because of a new job. She leaves behind two daughters, ages five and nine. Her family has set up a memorial fund. Gabino Janeo, according to the victim's family, has connections in New York, Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico. Reporting live from the newsroom, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.